I am joined by this week's TU Athlete of the Week, Claire Massey from the Taylor women's soccer team. As she had not one but two goals in Taylor's thrilling overtime win over Huntington last Wednesday, including the game winner in double overtime. Claire, what was that moment like to not only get the game winning goal, but also do it at home? It was so fun. It was amazing. Like every time I think about it now, I kind of get like warm and kind of chills a little bit. But I think it was just about the team atmosphere and being with them and like watching the film. My favorite part isn't when I score, it's when like I'm kind of like so dead that I'm like, okay, just hug me. And then everyone kind of just jumps on me. So that was definitely the best part of it. It was so fun. You, t you and the team outshoot Huntington 47 to 5. So I'm sure there's a lot of extra stress knowing you guys are getting a lot of, a lot of shots there in that match. Walk me through the game-winning goal because the ball kind of ping balls around a little bit or, or ping pongs around a little bit there at midfield, and then you dribble through about every Huntington defender to get to the goal for the for the winner. Well, I have to shout out to Erin Tevens. Oh my gosh, she took probably forty of those forty-seven shots. <laughs> they just were so unfortunate. They either hit the crossbar, like that goalie was pretty good. But shout out to her. And then Lindley worked her butt off the whole game, so she got the midfield ball to me, which I saw on film, didn't even remember it in the game. Um, I realized there was like two minutes left. We were dominating the game. We were winning the game. Like I didn't want to end in a tie. So I was just like, shoot my shot. Let's dribble up this field. And it was like solely adrenaline. I mean, I know I'm a skilled player, but it was like so much adrenaline. I was like, let's get this ball on the goal. Um, and it worked out to my favor, which was awesome. Let's talk about this offensive explosion you've had this year. Last year as a freshman, no goals, no assists, and seven shots. Yeah. This year, four goals tied for second on the team, and you lead the team in assists with four as well. What's led to this offensive explosion? I don't know. I think, I mean, it's definitely a boost of confidence that I've had starting from the beginning till now. You know, last year I started the last five games, which was great, but it, it was like a work in progress to that point. Um so I think confidence, I think my place with the girls on the team, like relationships that I have, like I trust every girl that I'm playing for and playing with. Um, purpose, like playing to glorify Jesus. I think that I had that last year, but it's more of a theme this year that we have for our team. Um, so I think just like kind of playing more boldly and being like, I trust my teammates. If I mess up, they'll have my back. Um, but also coach has really pushed me to be like, I trust you in the offense, so you need to get up. And I have been good at, like, I've always been good at crosses. I've never really been good at scoring. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that it's just a confidence boost. Well, you and the ladies have a big test coming up on Saturday on the road at number four Spring Arbor. Best of luck there. Congrats on the honor this week. And good luck, as we mentioned, going up against number four Spring Arbor on Saturday. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. That is Claire Massey this week's TU Athlete of the Week. For more information on Taylor Women's Soccer, just log on to taylortrojans.com.